It's three times better when you actually learn to like Primus, too. <laughs> hey, Thomas, do your parents ever just, you close the door, they can still hear from upstairs, and they're like, Thomas is listening to his records again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I called our show Therese's Company. <laughs> Right, uh, I was fucking thinking of you know what I was thinking of. Yeah. I'm fucking Jack Tripper, man. <laughs> All right, welcome back to our show. Two sometime. Uh, <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Freeze a Crowd, the YouTube Let's Play channel that's also kind of a podcast. I'm Nathaniel Kiefer. I'm not Thomas Hyde. I'm not Richard Jellison. There you go. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, he's uh. Here's where things get scary, kids. So we cycled back. We're in our on our second cycle, um, and we're about to become normal once again. So child link. Uh, uh yeah, kid universe timeline link. Yeah. Um, and here's a topic that's near and dear to all of our hearts, I think, but especially mine. Uh, we're talking about favorite tabletop systems. So tabletop RPG. And the 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 one anyone at home would think of automatically is uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Yes, absolutely. It's a really good one. Yeah, uh, not my favorite. Um, not even it? my favorite one. That's like Dungeons Ooh, and Dragons. Start. I'll let Thomas go last because mm. he's got to worry, worry about the controller. Oh, thank over you. There. I appreciate that, Richard. Why yes. don't you start? Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna list a couple that I really enjoy okay. that I think are really good. Um, I know Nathaniel doesn't like it very much, but we did an entire campaign using the system made by Fantasy Flight Games on, um, what's it called? Uh, Star Wars Edge of the Empire, which yes. they adapted into their main system, their kind of their GURPS, uh, called Genesis. And all of their things are based off of successes and failures and triumphs and despairs and, um... By the way, you can listen to our show, Twilight Imperium <laughs> Renegades. All yes, episodes yes. are available on Anchor.fm. Oh, we have a link in the description below. Uh, yeah. um, it's, I think it's a really interesting system because much like... Well, to the effect of D&D where it's very much, oh, roll to make sure that you've done this thing for every single action it's that you could take. the spooky part. Yeah, this um, is where the game gets scary. For, for, for Genesis, it allows more for... Yes, you have to roll for your, some actions like combat and stuff, but... And for like, well, ours were astrogation, which is making sure we can fly properly, or using mounted guns, or all that other stuff. We have a really good GM, and well, that's Nathaniel. Thank you. And uh, a lot of the stuff for like talking, or for or, or anything like that, or if we knew that we were good at the skill already, we didn't necessarily have to roll. Um, it's good for the role playing aspect of it, where you can get deep into the characters and really like know who they are and what they're about and get situation by situation and really only have to roll per really combat encounters more than anything. That's something you also have to build towards because of course you're going to want to roll for say a pilot who needs to astrogate uh, because <laughs> what else are they going to be doing most of the time? Um... <laughs> Another system that we're playing now that I really like is our Star Trek uh, Star Trek Adventure system. Mm -hmm. I think it's really interesting. Um, I think it's called 2D20. I think that's the official name. Uh, it's, it's really neat. I, I'm really enjoying playing that so far. So am I, actually. Um, I and then I, nice. uh, I like Shadowrun conceptually a lot. The system is a lot to set up. Mm -hmm. um, and small. to actually play. And for a GM to have a knowledge of regular combat. Cyber combat, astral combat, Oof. all of the magic functions, and like every gun and how what they do and all the extra effects and everything else is a lot. Like it's fun to look at and maybe to put a character together if you're willing to. It's really hard. It does what it does really well, but it's certainly not for beginners. It's, it's like it's not. definitely like hard. It's a hardcore system. Like it it, it is. Um, I will say because. Cyberpunk 2077 is probably going to use that system and make it into a proper game function, like, kind of like what KOTOR did for AD&D. Cyberpunk 2077 30. is going to use the Cyberpunk system that actually exists. Oh, does it? Yeah. Yeah. That's an RPG I've actually used. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> the, what was I saying? Oh, Shadowrun. Yeah. Uh, there has been, um, not Cyberpunk, the Shadowrun proper RPGs. I'm an idiot. 
Uh, they've used that system to do that, and it goes and makes it playable, but you're only worrying about yourself. Similar to that of KOTOR using uh, D&D 3, or um, Baldur's Gate using AD&D. Oh, I hate this. Spooky. Oh, man. Um, where nobody really wants to play AD&D, but uh, it'll allow you to do that through that system. But it's a single player and you don't have to worry about other people and the stories are already being told. So Shadowrun is more, I think, better experience through a game like that. And then of course, regular D&D, 5th edition, is fantastic and I really like playing that. Yeah, I've run three campaigns in 5th edition. I, I, I much prefer it to third. I, I will say my favorite D&D system was 3.5. What's Pathfinder? Um, Pathfinder, I was about to say, I like Pathfinder better than D&D, personally. Pathfinder is like a generic universal thing, too, though. You can use it for everything. Oh, you yeah. like Pathfinder better than 3.5, or you like Pathfinder better than all editions of D&D? All editions of D&D. <laughs> really? Okay. Personally. Oof. That's just personal preference, though. I understand right. it's not the right. agreed upon. It's a good thing we're good friends. <laughs> 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 to be fair, it's, it's almost a nostalgia thing. Right, Pathfinder yeah, yeah. was the system I first learned. Oh, yeah, okay. So. Fair enough. What about you, Nath? Well, I'm gonna Richard, go did you ever even say what your favorite was? Oh, my favorite... Um, <laughs> you listed, like, seven. I did. I did list a bunch that I've played. Uh, I'm really partial to the Genesis system because you can use it for a bunch of different applications, and it's a universal... Not saying it's because it's universal, yeah. I really like it, but I have a lot of feelings towards it because of I, the game that Nathaniel yes, set up for absolutely. Us. I mean, that's the thing, too. You, I mean, you can play a crappy system with a great campaign. And a lot of the grievances like go away. Like <laughs> our Cyberpunk. Or our Shadowrun yeah. uh, run um, Yeah, the, the Shadowrun campaign Chris ran was great. It was fantastic. I didn't really care for the system, though. He so. took away my cyber combat stuff and made me have just a sword, and it was fucking so cool. I, I will also say, our our Cyberpunk campaign, or um, Shadowrun, Shadowrun, I, Shadowrun see, campaign. See, look, it's hard, Yeah, right? you, you got me too. Uh, we played it on Roll20. Yes. Um, I feel like... That helped a lot, but he had to No, but it. honestly, I feel like we would have understood the system better if, if we had played... If we didn't have the tactile, yeah. so you're going to grab that one that's on the tree. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I feel like if we had played in person with the dice that. and everything. You could skip it, Thomas. You yeah, but, skip but I don't want to. Oh. That's hard. Oh, I can't get in the flower either. Oh, Richard, boy. you're not the only one. Mm. I got two noobs. This tree? Yeah, Over that here? tree. I don't think you're going to reach it with the deck with scroll. I'll, I'll make it. Right. You gotta I go up the slide. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't make it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> This is good. Um, well, Thomas is having uh, uh, physics failures over here. I'm going to go ahead then and say that my favorite RPG system... Um, I don't know if this is a surprise to any of us. Uh, my favorite RPG system is definitely the Storyteller system, which is implemented by I don't know that one. Uh, White Wolf for Vampire the Masquerade. Yeah, I do know that one. <laughs> which, unfortunately, was going to be my answer, so I'll come up with another one on the um, fly. <laughs> um, I think... I mean, this is, again, like Richard was saying, part of the reason why it's so endearing is because I, my brother ran us through a vampire campaign, which to this day has, like, you know, molded my opinion of storytelling and all that kind of stuff. I'm so, finding that it's less about the system and more about the people you're playing with. Playing like, with the system well. can be anything, but if the story is good, mm -hmm. as long as you That's can it for access Clark, it. That's going to Termin, right? Swap, as, as long as it's accessible yeah. and you yeah. can play something with it and it has a rule for something that's not finance, yeah. you should be fine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, I just it's, it's a really intuitive system. I've I've played D&D uh, &D with people who don't get D&D. &D. Like, I've just had players that just don't, can't, I, for some reason, understand the need to roll the 20-sided die every time they want to do something. Are you talking about your dad? <laughs> my, my dad and my, my I, have, I have cousins. But you played a whole also. fourth game playing yeah. with him, didn't you? Yeah, but every session, he was like, what am I doing again? Oh, so yeah. same as what we did. Yeah. <laughs> Good old Clint. Yeah. Um, that's not Nathaniel's basic, dad, that's no, Mac. Uh, it's no, effectively exactly the same thing. Yeah. Um, uh, but he was basically the same. And, 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 yeah, my dad's a great guy, he, but he did that every time, so it was okay. He rolls damage first, and it's always funny. Yeah. I did eleven. So, but sometimes, no, not necessarily. <laughs> we've 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 played games with your dad before. Mm. I feel like he does that sometimes <laughs> to make people think he doesn't know what he's yeah. doing. No, when he yeah, actually absolutely, does. absolutely. Yeah, my dad trolls all the time. Um, and he's so good at it because he's yeah he's he's so good at faking, faking the dumb thing. But anyway, so but I've had people who just do not get. D D, even though it's really simple, at least in my opinion, but they'll get storyteller right away. 
Like they have no problems yeah. but with it's the vampire dice pool. system. That's it's dice that's, pool. that's that's why it's my favorite. It's just you know what? really easy boring. to understand yeah. and it works perfectly. If it's a six or a t- to a ten, you got it. If it's a five or less, you didn't. Yeah, that you know what? Since it's dice pool, it's like how many do I need to roll? Okay, cool. Instead it's, of I gotta roll this and then I have to roll this. I mean this. Genesis is dice pool too, but hmm. then all the symbols mean something. You gotta look at a chart yeah, that's, and but see, I, unless, well, you don't, if you have the proper I'll dice, that's go. the difference. Yeah. Eventually, we just figured it out. Yeah. I mean, once you play for 50 years, you know, hmm. 30 sessions, whatever it was. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so just super intuitive, and um, and, it, and the lore is really interesting, too, although we didn't use much of it. Well, did you only so. use the vampire lore, and or did course. you use any of the other terrible lore that's written? Because <laughs> vampire's the yeah. best, werewolf is oh. getting there, oh. mage kind of sucks, and then the rest of them are awful. Changeling. Ch- I was going to say changeling, mummy, and like... The, the one that where you're a Frankenstein monster uh, or whatever. They're not... Oh, come on, it's fun, guys. It's Don't fun. They're interesting, too hard. but it's they're not fun. very good. Um... Yeah, and I, of course, and of course, the computer game Bloodlines did a lot too. Well, not just Bloodlines, but the other one too. Yeah, uh, Requiem. Here. I never. Played yeah, Requiem. but mostly Bloodlines. Mostly, <laughs> mostly Bloodlines. Bloodlines. Sequel Bloodlines. coming up. Yes. Oh my That's god. That's like in like two wait. weeks or something. Can't wait. By the time this is out, I'm sure it'll be out. Let, let's Probably. T- knock, knock on wood here. I mean, <laughs> Death Stranding came out, so. <laughs> We were talking about good games, Richard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of <laughs> so thinking about that with Cyberpunk, uh, did you know Keanu went back to re-record a bunch of new lines? Okay. Like recently, all of, all of them were no, you're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you're breathtaking. Breathtaking. That's the one. My bad. Ah, uh, he's such a good guy. I know um, you don't really care for him, but I don't. No, know. I said that. I think no. he's an awesome guy. Oh, I don't okay. Think he's much of an actor. Um, okay, so for me, my favorite system... So you're going to climb this tree? No, I'm going to... I can't do the spin move. Okay. You don't, haven't learned that yet. Oh my god. What do you mean you haven't learned it yet? You just do a circle. How do I, how do I climb? You, you get the full circle after one fall. Oh, the there's, there's mines here. Okay. Well then. Eat the choo-choo. I don't want this heart. Um, yeah, so my favorite system is also Look story storyteller, but I will talk about... Look out for the bad. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Um, I will I will talk about a different system. There are uh, okay. I, I won't talk about my favorite then, since Nathaniel already covered it. But I will talk about some other systems that I have played and like. Uh, Mouse Guard is super fun. Oh, Mouse Guard! What's Mouse Guard? Mouse Guard is essentially Watership down the game. Oh, or, I have or, uh, or uh, Red Wall. Yeah, Red Wall. Yeah. Red Wall would be a more apt. Yeah. Um, I was gonna say Bunnies and Burrows is more Watership yeah. down the game. Um. Yeah, and it's it's great. It sounds um, like Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> you know, it's a really, it's just a fun system. You know, you play as as a mouse, and things can get a little hanky, a little scary. Should I go in this grotto? Wow, it's not the end. Well, your then, main no. uh, your main enemies and stuff, I assume, were just like hawks. Um, well, hawks are actually like really high level. Yeah, because like, you're you're fucking. Mouse. Yeah. Essentially, unless you're in the end game, you don't want to fight anything bigger anything. than a mole. Yeah. <laughs> moles are pretty big, though. Yeah, moles are still pretty scary, but mm. mostly you're gonna want to combat other mice. Ants. If anything, <laughs> yeah, you do fight bugs. Not ants, I don't think, but bigger bugs. Um, Mouse guard's a lot of fun, just from a conceptual standpoint. You guys just did something like that too, right? Um, there's the another. Rabbits. There's another system that I played. Don't skip this house because we want the pictograph box. Oh yeah. Uh, there's another system that I played uh, a ways back, like a long, long time ago in high school, uh, called uh, Old School Hack. Oh shit! Before we go any further, uh, reverse sign of time. Oh yeah. I, I just realized we burned like half the. Uh, what are the buttons? It's reverse sign of time. So down a side, down a side. Down a right side. Down, down a, a side. Oh. Nailed it. Man, you guys are the best teachers. Uh, um, that's right. Really, handy. old old school <laughs> hack. That's what I was talking about. Yeah. Um, when you get used to it, you can never make it go slow. <laughs> uh, old school hack is a system that is essentially just like the most basic of basics. What is Dog the Bounty Hunter doing here? What am I supposed to give him? Just nothing. Just talk to him until he gives you the box. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, it's basically if you want to teach someone how to play tabletop games, then you should, uh... Are you sure? It's so you gotta game. take the... You have taken... You oh, I gotta take it. the boat cruise. Oh, you gotta take... Okay. Mm. Ah, she's closed, remember? She's hurt. We right, so you told me to go okay. in here, but I wasn't supposed to. You need a to. mushroom. You tricked me. 
There's, You're a, right, there's a piece of heart on top of the house. I forget about that, but we need the, the town title deed, and we're going to do that some other cycle. That's right. Um, we have four heart containers anyways. All right. Uh, yeah, old school hack is basically like a teaching tool almost, except being so simple, it's actually really good for playing, and you can focus a lot more on role playing. So what is old school hack? Simple is the best way I can like, describe is it, it. Like, is it D20? Is it Dice it's, it's, D6? Yeah. It is, uh, it's D10s, except, um, certain, like, weapons and stuff, you have to roll other stuff. But it's D10 base, uh, and it's really, really simple, uh, really good for teaching how to, like, just the concept of a tabletop game. Let's see what else. I already mentioned I like Pathfinder a lot. Uh, is it set for like a certain universe or like? No, you could te you could you could technically use it for anything. It is normally used for fantasy stuff, as I recall. That's how I played it. Um, and, and part of the good thing is that you can conceptualize a lot of rules just off of like roll a d10, difficulty challenge. You know, like. There's not a lot of stat pools that you have to worry about, so really anyone can do anything as long as you roll well enough and you're creative enough. Um, oh, Watch out for the tortoise. Ack rack, ack rack. Um, I know this is a Pokemon game. And, oh, there's another system I wanted to talk about, and I just need to remember what it was. Fatal. <laughs> no! <laughs> Roll for... Oh, uh, Space Kings. Roll for Sakon. Oh, okay. Space Kings is a system that's actually fairly new. They, they haven't even released a physical book yet, but they're working on it. Um, oh, I gotta be... A, is I, that like... I gotta, be, I gotta be a little voice. To, yeah, she's racist. Uh. <laughs> no, I'm serious. They won't talk to non-humans. Yeah. Hmm. You need to give her, like, a mushroom or something. Uh, you, you gotta to give go her back. a red potion. Yeah, yeah. Now you have to go back to her. Go sister. back, and, and, and that's and, our, and that's our first bottle too. Yeah, um, it's this hut. Yeah. Oh wow, it's right there. <laughs> yeah, uh, Space Kings is a, a tabletop system that uses. It's it's a lot like you know a D and D. You have stats and attributes, but they use instead of dice, they actually use a, a deck of playing cards. Every oh, yeah. every person gets their own deck, and Definitely you pull. Um, and successes are faces and aces, and everything that isn't face or ace is a uh, is a failure. You succeed Ooh. none of the time. <laughs> no, you succeed quite a bit. But the thing is, is that do you, you reshuffle every time? You only reshuffle once your deck runs out. Right. So if you, if you get all successes up front, then now you're going to fail everything. Exactly. The deck. So you can strategically pick who's going to be doing what actions based on the probability of what's going to come up. And I think that's part of it that I really like. So you got to count cards in order to make sure that you're really good at your game too. Yeah, and the, the thing is is that like the better you are at certain things, the more cards you pull. So the right. the higher the chance you could get a huge success, but also the higher chance you could get uh, there are botches, which are jokers. Ah. Um so, so you get two of those a deck. Yeah. Woof. And I think it's a really interesting system because you can sort of uh, prioritize who wants to do what based on who has the most likely chance to succeed right. based on what they've already pulled. So let's say it's and, a fix a motorcycle, I guess. You pull X amount of cards. Yeah, so in, say in, say in, this, in this, okay, so in this sense, it's a lot like the Star Trek game we're playing. You have stats and attributes. So you have stuff like uh, me mechanics, like, or sorry, engineering, and say, um, Engineering and science, let's say. And so you you flip engineering and science. So you flip the number of cards worth the amount of stats you have. So let's say I have three engineering and two science. I would flip five cards total. Right. Um, and then based on faces and aces, how many successes you need is the dif difficulty challenge. And then... Yeah, it's actually, now that I think about it, it's a lot like the Star Trek system we're playing right now. Just with <laughs> cards instead of dice. Ah. <laughs> Um, and I really like it. I, I think it's a lot of fun because of the cards. And everyone gets uh, special abilities that could be like you can automatically reroll botches or oh god, I'm being mobbed. Monkeys. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, don't skip it. I don't know what's going on. That's fine. Oh, okay. So they just told you to rescue their brother who's being held. Oh, right. Yeah, to go to the monkey. Now we can go get the picto box. That's right. Um, picto chat. Do you know what picture wins the contest? No, I don't. Okay, so you can either do the Deku King, which is really hard, or you can take a picture of Tingle. Oh, okay. Really? So, so yeah. it's, it's going to be Tingle. Yeah. Oh, you, you know it's going to be Tingle. 
Why does Tingle win a contest? Because it's actually his son. God what? Damn it. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Picto guy is Tingle's dad. Yeah. <laughs> I hope he loves his son. Ooh. You're so fucked. Get up. him selling you math. Anyways, I'm disappointed in my son because he thinks he's a fairy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. Do you guys have any other systems you wanted to talk about? I think we've covered all like the really good ones. So uh, there's bad ones. I'm talking about bad ones. Um, I've like honestly, like, I was gonna say GURPS is a joke, but uh, honestly, no, I, I think GURPS is okay. I think the thing with GURPS is like you have to know what like how to use it because there's tons of supplements you have to know what you're about <laughs> there's tons of supplements that make it sci-fi or horror or fantasy you just have to find the right so we have to go to tingle right or is he in this cruise great i would love to do that please let me do that uh, it's too late <laughs> you're on the boat so what well the boat takes you to this the to the deco palace so. oh i had to take it and then take the boat ride yeah i did a goof it's okay. I can That's take okay. a picture of the king from the boat, right? It's just really hard. Uh, you, you can take a picture of the king once we get to the Deco Palace. So. And then just take the boat again. Wait. So should I just skip this whole ride? What? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah. You can, don't take a picture here. You won't get anything for it. I can just skip the ride. Uh, it's okay, fine. Well. It's fine. On the next cycle, we'll just. We'll oh come right. Back we needed the boat to. We needed the boat to kill the Octorock anyway. Rock. Yeah, so it's can. fine that I jumped on. Yeah. It's fine. We have to do this anyways. It's just. Uh, it doesn't matter anyway. That's fucking archaic, okay. <laughs> you can only you can only win the pictograph contest on day one, but we can just get the pictograph There box. he is! Okay, that's not him. We can just it's get a the tree. We can just get the pictograph is, box so. Is that the Deku King? <laughs> Look at him in all his glory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, disembark here. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Alright, back well. around. <laughs> There's the moon. And the clock keeps ticking. <laughs> well, that's okay, because now I can go back and snap my quick picture at Tingle. All right. Win the contest, because it should still be first day by the time I do that. Yeah, yeah. And then we can do the and thing. And then we can do it. That's the, uh, the spider, spider house. house. Yeah. yeah. Besides, I needed to if kill this other man. If you take a picture, will you be able to keep the picture in your picture box, or do you have to take a picture every time? <laughs> take a picture, you give him the picture. I'm saying if, for some reason, we couldn't get it to him in time before it closed. Well, it doesn't matter, because we'll have to cycle back. So Time doesn't even now. move when oh. you're on the cruise. I just noticed that. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's frozen. Okay, great. I apparently, guess it takes so long. Apparently we're inside a fucking time warp thing. Uh, I think that's I think that's all the systems. Oh, yeah, sorry. I was going to say uh, uh, the really lame systems I find are just the ones where there's too much chance. You have to roll percentile dice for every stat. Oh, forget or, it. Or you have to roll three <laughs> dice, six in order. Like d, &D Or one. something. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, you can roll stats in DD. I think rolling stats is okay. Cause yeah, there's like, some of that, but as long like, as it's not every roll in the every game. Every roll is a percentile thing, and it's just, there's so much to it. So, I just, um, uh, things like Rifts, uh, Traveler, uh, I'm not a huge fan of those. TMNT and other strangers. Systems I would never even play. Um, Traveler's really interesting, though, like, conceptually. It, yes, of oh, course. Uh, like, I mean... Tingles, you passed him Yeah, up. I know, I want to get to the other Like, side. you dying yeah. in character creation, I always think Oops, is a that was ridiculous the wrong thing. Yeah, I mean, well, you can kill him with the... You, can, you need oh, to use that to hit him. I gotta right? get him Yeah, you gotta, I gotta get, get him, him down. Shot. You gotta get oh, a close-up shot. Oh, he's all the way over there. Yeah. I'm so dumb. That's why I said you can pass them. Go shoot the tomato. Sorry, I left my brain at home today. <laughs> you, you are, are at home. home. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I left it upstairs, guys. <laughs> Get wrecked, scrub. We probably don't have enough rupees to buy the map unless it's ten. Right, there we go. Wait for him to. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> Does he have to face? There, there it go. is. That's a beautiful picture. Yeah, because otherwise it could be any man in yeah, a Yeah, let's let's <laughs> let's see if I let's see if I can afford the map. It might be twenty. Come on. Do you keep the maps on? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's so many dollars. Twenty. Yeah, we're you sure. You just need to. That's so need, many like, rubles. Seven. Just farm a couple bushes or something. Well, no, I need to make it back by the end of the first. Get out of here. Scroll. Yeah, go back and get give him the picture. That's we'll okay. Come back. Time is moving slow. Can he get seven rupees? Find out next time. Right. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah. Uh, Find out next time. Nineteen. On Nailed it. Oh, I'll just jump, drop in this hole. <laughs> Smart boy moves. All right, yeah. Thank you very much for uh, watching, and uh, let me leave you with these uh, words of wisdom. Kulimpole. <laughs>
<laughs> okay. Alright, don't do anything more. Unless you're just gonna pick up the thing. I'll, I'll knock him down. Whoa. 